how excited are you after two rough road games just to kind of finally get home and, and play in front of the home crowd? Yeah, I think it's always fun getting uh, getting the home crowd behind you. So um, we're excited. Um, there's two awesome learning experiences playing a Big Ten team and then obviously playing, I think they're seventh or eighth in the country right now, Cincinnati. So uh, two great learning experiences and we've learned a ton off of it. And uh, obviously we got on tape yesterday and learned from the Minnesota game. So we're excited to kind of show what we're capable of at this next game and finally have a home game to do it in front of our own crowd. When you look back at the Minnesota game, uh, what did you learn as you guys were breaking down the film? Um, I think the big thing for us is, is in the second half, you saw what we're capable of. Um, I mean, I think, I think it was 21-10, we outscored them in the second half, and it's, uh, they're not a shabby team. They gave Ohio State a run for their money, and, um, and they have a really, really, uh, they have great depth. They have um, great starters on defense and a great offense. And um, so I think we, we know what we're capable of. It's just uh, understanding how we can come out the gates uh, the way we did in the second half. I think that's what we need to try to figure out coming forward this week, and that's what we're going to focus on. So, Looking at, I mean, you've been here a long time, right? And 0-2, oh you know, start. But some of that you know, happens every year around here, a lot of times just because of the competition that we're playing. But do the young guys kind of look at you? You know, is there anything you can tell them to be like, listen, we can get through this, we can move forward? Yeah, um, I think that uh, this season is a lot longer than what it looks like. You know, you look, you look on paper and you're like, okay, there's only 12 games on here. This is uh, going to go by like crazy, and it does. Um, but there's a process to it, and uh, each week you learn something different, and each week I think we've shown in past um, that we get a lot better each week. Uh, and as the progression of the season goes on, from our first game to our last game, we're a whole different team. Um, and I think that's just because we, we, we trust what our coaches say, we trust what they come in and teach us every single week. We trust uh, Chuck and Coach Martin and what, what he um, preaches to us every week, that every week we just need to focus on getting better at what we can do and what we can control. Um, and that's what we do, and that's what we're doing this week. We're taking what we, um, what we did at Minnesota, we're looking at it on tape and critically evaluating it um, for ourselves, for our offense, for our defense, special teams, everything, um, and finding the areas that we can get a little bit better on every week. So um, hopefully we can do that this week and uh, come out and give our home crowd a good game. You specifically talking about getting better. What area of your game uh, do you feel like you still need to uh, improve on a little bit, if any? All of it. Uh, I mean, I think, I think uh, um, you're always an unfinished product. Um, I think that there's always an area f to, to grow. Um, so for me, I think I really need to focus on route running. I need to focus on understanding um, concepts, defensive concepts, um, leverage on a defender, how to run my routes off of a certain leverage. And I need to work on uh, leadership on the sidelines. I need to work on leadership at halftime. Um, there's so much, right? Like I said, um, we're always uh, um, an, unpaint, uh, an unfinished painting. Um, I think that's what my dad always said to me. And, um, it's so true. Um, you know, if, if, if you can't find the things to get better at, at um, and you always think that you're the best at whatever you do, then there's no opportunity to get better. Um, so I think that's how our whole team is, is kind of structured. Everybody always is able to find an area or two that they can get better on every single week. Um, and I think that's why historically Miami is so good throughout the duration of the season. Um, and hopefully we can keep that alive this year. Jack, how do you make sure that the team takes this week as serious as it did in the mm -hmm. last two weeks? I think, I think it's because we're 0-2. Um, and I think, I think nothing would change if we were 2-0. Um, I think we'd uh, attack this game like it's the most important game of the season, um, like we have in uh, prior years. But um, I think that the fact that we're 0-2 and that we have everything to prove and nothing to really lose at this point, um, I think that's what we're attacking uh, with this game is um, we have to come out and make a statement with this game to show that we are competitive and uh, that we can do what we say we've been able to do this whole entire off season. Um, I want to show what the offense is capable of. I know Dom and um, the rest of the defense wants to show what they're capable of and Coach Shear and um, uh, the special teams want to show what they're capable of. And we've had glimpses of it, but we haven't put together a whole entire game. I think that's what we want to do this week is we want to show that from offense, defense, and special teams that we're capable of competing in the MAC and competing uh, with Big Ten teams and, and ACC teams, SEC teams, anybody that we can come up against in the future that we're able to compete at a high level. All right, Jack, I think we're good to go. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Yep. Mark, you want the first question? It's all yours. Oh, thanks. Um, 
Jack was talking about how this is an opportunity for you guys to show uh, what you're capable of. What does that mean for the defense, do you think? I mean, where, where, what area do you think you need to improve the most on from weeks one and two to week three? Um, like you said, honestly, putting a full game together. Um, we started out really slow first half, and they jumped up on us. Um, you know, just uh, miss assignments, which are things that coaches harped on from the beginning. Can't have miss assignments, especially on the defense, because the way our defense, we play our defense, you have a miss assignment, the guy runs through your gap. So um, that's, that's honestly the, the main thing. As you watch that first half, we just had a couple um, miss assignments. And they took advantage of it. And then we came on the second half and stopped the run, stopped the pass, and it, you know we got rolling. So, What did you guys do differently in the, in the second half compared to the first half that, that made that defense so what, play so well? Man. It was a lot. We, we stayed gap sound. Um, we stopped the pass. We, we knew coming into the game that Minnesota was not a team that if, if they got stopped on first and second down, they weren't going to be able to uh, operate because they're not a team that plays behind the downs. They're a team that plays ahead. So, like, usually they're, they're first on first down, they get two or three yards on a run. Then they get another two or three yards, and it's a first down. So if you get them to, to a third down, a third and long, it's likely we're going to stop them and then get off the field and get, let the offense come back on. So. How much motivation is there uh, after watching the uh, Minnesota film and thinking, you know, dang, we were right there on the road yeah. against a Big Ten team? Honestly, after, after the game, of course you want to win. You know, that's the whole goal of this is to win. But as I sat down and evaluated how we came – came back in the second half, I said, I, I couldn't be mad. You know, I, I couldn't be mad at how we fought back and played. Like we went, at one point it was 20 to 21. We were right there, you know, and even the final score showed that we were, we were in the game. So I was like, bro, I, I, I can't be mad at how we played. Honestly, this motivation for me, because it showed me that we're capable. Like Jack said, it showed, it showed everybody that this is something that Miami football can do. It's, it's no joke, you know, we might have had a, you know, week one was a little rough, but we play Cincy again, I, I bet you it's not like that ever again. We play Minnesota again, we're winning that game, you know, so. Dom, how do you make sure, it would be easy to just think you could almost just show up this week and not even have to practice hard or try hard. Like, how do you make sure that the team stays motivated for, for this I'm, week's game? I'm, I'm going to be on it for sure. Because I'm a, I feel like I'm a leader in my room. I work hard all the time. My guys, I make sure our guys are, are working and running to the ball. Pursuit is one of our key things. If you're not pursuing to the ball, we're not doing anything. We, we pursued very well this week. Compared to last week, compared, compared to Cincy to this week, our pursuit of the ball was a lot better. So we stay on top of that. We make sure we're serious during practice. You know, those are, those are the key things.